Hey guys, hey, what's going on? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, I know we haven't put a video out in about a week or so, but, you know, want to take a little break from doing some videos and do some other stuff that I had going on. But today's Father's Day, and even though somebody else should be cooking for you on Father's Day, I wanted to go ahead and do a little something uh, for myself today. So uh, what we're going to be making today is a uh, appetizer dish called uh, little heart attacks, okay? I know that sounds kind of leery. Uh, I got this recipe from Alan Lavengood from a website called SeriousBarbecue.com. Uh, you can go out there, you check out his website. He's got a lot of recipes out there, got a lot of good information on barbecuing out there, and uh, just all around a uh, real good website, okay? Uh, this recipe here we did last year uh, at a cookout, went over real big. Uh, we just didn't do a video at the time, so we're going to go ahead and knock it out right now. So we are going to go ahead and do the short prep work. It's a real simple recipe, but you'll definitely love the results, okay? So what you're going to need for this recipe is some uh, bacon. Now I have uh, slightly thick cut bacon here because I like my bacon just a little bit thicker than normal. So I got a little uh, thick cut bacon here, okay? Uh, you're going to need some type of uh, sausage, okay? Now this here is turkey, uh, smoked turkey sausage, okay? Uh, skinless, okay? Now the reason I use that is because the bacon is going to have enough fat in it, so I didn't want to get a real fatty sausage. So this is uh, somewhat lean, and uh, we're going to wrap this with the bacon, okay, and then on top of that, once we make the little uh, the little rolls, a little sausage and bacon rolls, we're gonna top those off with some brown sugar, okay. So, hey, look, hang around, don't go nowhere. Watch us do this quick, short prep work. We're gonna get them uh, thrown out on the smoker today, and we're gonna see exactly how they come out, okay. So, hey, don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. So first, we're gonna take our sausage. And we want to slice this. Now, we don't want the slices to be too thick because we want the bacon to kind of uh, have a lip over the sausage, okay? So, we're going to cut them about, I would say about a half an inch. That way you can make a lot more appetizers also. Okay. So, since it's just me eating this, I think I'm only going to make about a dozen. All right, so we're going to set this on the side, and we're going to take care of our bacon. All right, so, so that we've got about 16 pieces of sausage there, we're going to go ahead and get us eight slices of bacon, and we're going to slice those in half, okay? So... That's four, and that's eight. All right, put that on the side. Let's go ahead and cut those roughly in half and get a good measuring point. All right, cut those in half. And do the same thing with these. These in half. All right. I'm going to put my second glove on and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to separate our bacon out into slices. All right. These would probably be better if they're close to the room temperature so they won't be so stiff. Because bacon can get kind of stretchy and that's what you want it to do since you're wrapping it around these sausages, okay? All right, so, we got some of those. All right, let's get one of our sausages. Okay, so, so here we have one of our sausages, and I got a toothpick, all right? So we're gonna take our bacon, all right? And we're just gonna wrap it around 
our sausage like so. And we're going to pin it with a toothpick to hold together all the way through. Like that. So as you can see, it's got a little opening right here. And what we're going to do with that opening is we're going to put brown sugar on top of that. Okay. So let me go ahead and finish up making all of these. And it will come right back. We'll put the brown sugar in it and we'll get them ready for the smoker. All right, guys. So as you can see, we got all of our little uh, heart attacks uh, all wrapped up. We got the sausage wrapped up with the bacon. So now we have our brown sugar here. And <clears throat> I put the brown sugar in a separate container just so I wouldn't contaminate the bag of brown sugar. So I got me a little spoon here. And what we, all we're going to do is we're going to take a spoonful of this and put it right in that hole. Okay. So we're going to fill up each one of these with some brown sugar. That brown sugar will melt and make it nice and sweet along with the salty and savoriness of the bacon. Uh, these are very, very good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these bad boys up and I'll meet you out at the smoker. guys so we finished with our cook as you can see here are our little heart attacks okay they they smell real good they smell like bacon and they smell like brown sugar and uh, I can't wait to taste them okay uh, I had to switch cameras at the end of this video it's having problems with my Canon 70B so I'm going strictly off of the cell phone here with a microphone so hopefully the uh, sound is decent enough for you guys to follow along okay so we uh, prepared our little heart attacks we uh, put them in the Rectech mini smoker I initially set the temperature for 275 degrees for an hour and a half and then for the last half an hour I cranked the uh, temperature up to 300 degrees to get a nice crispy um, exterior texture on the bacon I think okay so uh, as you saw it was a nice crispy juicy brown so let's go ahead and have a taste test all right pick out oh yeah that worked out real well nothing beats smoked bacon tastes fantastic and I'm glad I used the turkey kielbasa uh, sausage of turkey sausage on these here because it's not overly greasy uh, the lean meat in combination with the bacon made for an outstanding bite and of course the brown sugar melted uh, on the inside of the bacon and on, and on top of the sausage so it has that nice little sweet kick it's not overly sweet but it's a nice little accent uh, I think I have to try at least one more of these bad boys mm. these are so good you could eat a lot of these bad boys I guess they could give you a heart attack only thing that I would do maybe a little bit different to give it another little kick is to maybe take me a little cayenne pepper or a little a little heat of some type and sprinkle on the bacon before you cook it so you have that sweetness you have that cayenne that heat and that would be perfect or what you could do is before you put the brown sugar um, inside the bacon you can put a few drops of uh, your favorite hot sauce on top of the sausage and then throw your brown sugar on top of it that way you like say so you get that sweet you get that heat you get that crunchiness from the bacon and you get that uh 
the juiciness from the sausage, man. So this was a fantastic cook, okay? So once again, we got this recipe from um, SeriousBarbecue.com, uh, Alan Lavin Good. Check out the website. They got some nice stuff out there, okay? And, uh, of course, if you're interested in a Rec Tech uh, pellet smoker, you check out the guys at Rec Tech Grills. They got some fantastic customer support. They don't sell the minis anymore, but they do have the Trailblazer and the Bull and some other ones that they came out with earlier this year. So, well, hey, that's all we have time for today. I hope everybody had a, a great Father's Day for you fathers out there. And as uh, we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Good stuff.